Ukraine's intel details on Russian boats damaged, hit by two Magura drones. Two Magura drones were used during the attack on the Russian tuna-type boats on May the 30th. One of them hit the enemy fortifications, according to a representative of Ukraine's defensive intelligence, Andriy Yusov. On May the 30th, Ukrainian soldiers had successfully destroyed two Russian tuna-type boats in Crimea. It then turned out that the soldiers had managed to hit four boats, not two. Ukrainian soldiers have already destroyed Tunnet's boats before. For example, last fall operation. According to Yusov, the latest operations were well thought out and planned. After the Magura breaks through a naval fortification or barrier, the next drone actually goes straight to the target. As we saw, when four tuna speedboats were hit at once, aviation, artillery and small arms did not operate, Yusuf said. According to him, destroying four boats by one drone at once is a very good result. He emphasizes that the intelligence is constantly working to improve the effectiveness of its operations as the enemy is also learning from the war and trying to save the vessels. Every successful operation means destroying Russian ships at great cost and specialists who have been preparing for a long time, he added. He also added that one of the Magura modifications was equipped with air-to-air -air missiles, allowing it to hit air targets as well. Boats of the KC-701 tuna type are quite common. This is a diesel boat with an aluminium hull. It is used for both military and civilian purposes. The boat's hull is 8 meters long and 2.5 meters wide. It can accommodate from 6 to 12 people. The engine power is 250 horsepower and the speed is 85 kilometers an hour. Russians used such boats for logistics and patrolling the waters near the temporarily occupied Crimea. At least five people have been killed and 44 injured including 10 in critical condition, as wildfires swept through Turkey's southern regions on Thursday night, authorities said. Turkish Health Minister Faratin Koka announced on X on Friday that the fire swept through two areas near the city of Mardin in the southeast of the country. For emergency teams and 35 ambulances were sent to the scene and by Friday, the blaze was brought under control, according to Diyarbakir Governor Ali Isansu. The fire started late on Thursday in an area 30 kilometers south of Diyarbakir and quickly spread due to strong winds, affecting five villages, according to Interior Minister Ali Yerlikaya. The wildfires also spread in northwestern parts of Turkey near the town of Ivasik in Kanakal province, the state-run Anadolu agency reported. There were no casualties in this area, however, the authorities evacuated the small village of Kamkoy as a precaution. This was one of several wildfires to have erupted in the province of Kanakal in the past week amid high winds and scorching summer temperatures. Turkey's neighbor Greece is also experiencing wildfires, with dozens of firefighters extinguishing a major blaze on the outskirts of Athens late Wednesday, forcing authorities to evacuate two nearby villages.